Starting your career as a data scientist in Google, Facebook, and Microsoft. Hi, everybody. If you're looking to start your career as a data scientist in one of the three internet-driven digital era behemoths, Google, Facebook, or Microsoft, then you are in the right place. Today, I'm about to reveal the secrets of kickstarting your career in a highly competitive corporate universe. Let's first consider the current job market for a moment. In the backdrop of the yet unresolved COVID-19 pandemic crisis, Many businesses have resorted to hiring freezes and furloughs, but big tech has been largely unaffected by this crisis, and the good news is, big tech is growing. The three internet giants, Google, Facebook, and Microsoft, are relentlessly scooping up fresh talent in droves, and in particular, they have been hiring data scientists as if there's no tomorrow. Today, I'm going to share with you some useful tips of how to start your career as a data scientist in Google, Facebook, and Microsoft. Starting your career as a data scientist in Google. According to Google search statistics in 2019, Google processes 40,000 plus search queries every second worldwide on average, which translates to more than 3.5 billion searches every day. This implies that the total number of searches per year is 1.2 trillion. This scenario presents Google with an endless opportunity to help businesses grow and scale and data scientists help promote Google's business interests and shape its technical strategies by analyzing and interpreting this treasure trove of information. The main responsibility of data scientists is to identify profitable business opportunities for Google and its clients. Your primary job responsibilities at Google. Google's cloud is not only a technology, but it's also a business operation. As a data scientist, you need to think critically and strategically of Google Cloud along these lines. You'll need to be comfortable whether you're discussing resource optimization with software engineers, total management costs with hardware engineers, or reviewing deployment policies and fleet plans with operations executives. All these discussions will be typically based on the analytical models that you will develop. Google hires talented data scientists right through the year, but finding data scientists with enough talent and passion is a tough task. As you're probably aware, Google conducts interviews that are pretty intense. The bar is set high. Let's look at some of the main criteria to start your career at Google as a data scientist. Number one, you need to be passionate. Evidence-based career advice says that employees who are genuinely passionate about the work they do will be happier and more productive than the average employee. The reason for their higher productivity is their passion comes from caring deeply about their work and the organization they work for. The other thing is they are personally invested in the mission of the organization. What is Google's mission? Google's mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. That's why search makes it easy to discover a broad range of information from a wide variety of sources. So, meeting this criterion is easy if you are passionate about everything related to data science. It should suffice if you have spent some time studying problems for which data analysis provides a natural solution. But remember, you need to be passionate about the problem first and you also need to be passionate about the methodology that is used to frame the problem. Number two, you need to be proficient at coding. It's true that Google hires data scientists who are not hardcore engineers, but Google hires only the data scientists who are proficient at coding. The best way to demonstrate your coding skills is to know how to code well ahead of your interview. For instance, you can direct the recruiters of Google to your personal website or GitHub to showcase your coding skills. This is one area where AI sciences can make starting your career as a data scientist in Google very easy. Every course by AI sciences has a few mini projects. Each mini project covers an interesting topic and necessitates a bit of coding. And each project has been designed to help you refine your artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning skills. Familiarity with a scripting language such as Python is a definite plus. And it's a bonus if you know a compiled language such as C++ or Java. Number three, you need to be proficient in statistics. Google will hire you as a data scientist only if you know mathematics, specifically linear algebra and calculus. Google will love you if you're the kind of person who lives and breathes probability and statistics. Completing a couple of courses in probability and statistics is a great idea. This is another area in which AI sciences can help you. 
Their course, Mastering Probability and Statistics in Python, on Udemy.com covers statistics in great detail. Number 4. Get some real-world experience. During the interview, you'll need to demonstrate your work experience on real-world data. Google wants to see something that shows you had an opportunity to get your hands dirty on tons of real data. The reason for this is it would indicate you have spent sufficient time collecting your own data, sanity checking it after cleaning it, and only then making use of it. For instance, you can write an application for your smartphone, which tracks the usage first and then analyzes it. The most common interview questions for aspiring data scientists at Google. Google interview questions are standardized. The questions are related to situational scenarios with their products. The following are some typical questions. 1. Explain in detail the data science-based project you have completed successfully. 2. Imagine you are engaged in multitasking. How would you sort priorities? 3. What method would you use to detect inappropriate content on YouTube? 4. In machine learning, what is the difference between EM and K mean? 5. Explain why we use feature selection in machine learning. 6. Explain the differences between parametric and non-parametric testing. 7. How would you test whether a new feature has made a significant difference in engagement in Google's ecosystem? Starting your career as a data scientist in Facebook. The corporate mission of Facebook is to give people the power to build community and bring the world closer together. One of the most coveted jobs in tech today is that of a data scientist at Facebook. This job requires a multi-skill set of SQL coding, product intuition, data analysis, and plenty of communication with key stakeholders. Your primary job responsibilities at Facebook. At Facebook, you will conduct large-scale, worldwide quantitative research as a data scientist. The company's mission is to gain deeper knowledge about how people interact among themselves and with the world around them. Your findings will result in informed decisions that are aimed to improve people's daily experiences on Facebook. Your insights make the platform simpler and more intuitive to use. And importantly, your analysis will help in finding ways to facilitate more meaningful social interactions. Your research efforts will span a variety of disciplines. The most common among them are social science, market intelligence, operations research, survey science, econometrics, and statistical computing. You will need to employ a mixture of methods to achieve the company's objectives, including surveys, field experiments, machine learning, and information visualization. You will also build scalable platforms for collecting, managing, and analyzing data. Another important job responsibility is to actively contribute your findings to the educational research community the core areas that Facebook data scientists work in. Unlike other organizations, Facebook views data science a bit differently. So we'll define the four core areas that Facebook data scientists typically work in. Everything in your interview process is framed within these core areas. Number one, use specific quantitative tools to unearth opportunities, set team goals, and guide the product roadmap while working with cross-functional partners. Two, Provide actionable information by exploring, analyzing, and aggregating large data sets. Create intuitive visualizations to pass on those outcomes to a broad audience. 3. Design instructive experiments considering target populations, sources of bias, the potential for positive results, and statistical significance. 4. Collaborate with engineers on product health monitoring, logging, and experiment design and analysis. Sharpen your networking skills. A large portion, around 80%, of hiring at Facebook is via sourcing or referrals. So, build your network and reach out to your network more often. Since Facebook is a social media channel, your best bet to get into this company is by sharpening your networking skills. The right strategy would be to leverage your immediate network, especially your secondary connections. Try your best to score a referral because it isn't important who refers you for the role. The fact is there is an entire team of Facebook dedicated to this task. This team is focused on helping referrals. The advantage is this whole process is fairly fast paced. You might even get a recruiter call within a few days. What happens after the recruiter phone call? The interview process at Facebook. Step one, job recruiter phone screening. The focus of this phone screening is on your background. You will also be asked a few behavioral questions. 
your communication skills, as well as the scope of your previous work will be assessed. Most candidates are successful at this step. Step 2. Video interview with a data scientist at Facebook. This 45-minute interview primarily consists of technical questions. You are assessed on two fronts. 1. Creativity and skill when tackling business problems. 2. The way you communicate or articulate your solutions. In this interview, the way you engage with the problem, especially your thought process, communication style, and structured approach are important. You may have to face several rounds of interviews. The interviewer evaluates your professional skills in the following areas. Structure. Your ability to take an important issue or open-ended question and frame it in the right context. Analytical understanding. Your ability to translate between numbers and words. You need to prove to the interviewer that a certain product, X, should be built via data that results in analytical proof. Hypothesis-driven. Your ability to identify reasonable hypotheses, as well as your ability to apply elementary logic to support those hypotheses. Action. Does your review result in specific action items for your team? This should actually demonstrate what working with you would be like. Step 3. Final round. During the ongoing pandemic, this interview will likely take place via video. Product knowledge will be the main area of focus in this round. You will be asked several product interpretation questions. You will also be presented with a case study. You'll need to use data, analytics, and metrics to make sense of user behavior. Questions in this round are generally broad. The common questions will be along these lines. How would you assess Facebook groups? How would you evaluate engagement on Instagram stories? When you answer these questions, your ability to show scope is evaluated. The interviewer wants to see whether you can put away your data scientist hat for a moment and analyze the question from the perspective of the product manager and the remainder of your team. You will also be asked questions around creating metrics, adding new features, and testing a hypothesis through the design of appropriate tests. Starting your career as a data scientist in Microsoft. The corporate mission of Microsoft is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. So the prerequisite for starting your career as a data scientist is you will need to be highly motivated and passionate. As a data scientist at Microsoft, you will help in improving the quality of experiences on their devices and services. Your primary job responsibilities at Microsoft. You will apply stringent scientific methodology and algorithms to data to enhance Microsoft services, operating systems, and devices. You will also provide a unique insight into client and business scenarios that cut across organizational frontiers and promote the growth of a data-driven environment within Microsoft. You will formulate approaches and resolve problems using well-defined data sources and advanced algorithms. You will also incorporate an understanding of customer perspective and product functionality to provide a clear context for those problems. You will discover new questions or opportunities using data exploration techniques within your problem area. You will then propose the applicability as well as limitations of the data. Your main responsibility is to interpret the results of your analysis, validate your approach, and learn to observe, analyze, and iterate to improve all the time. In this fast-paced environment, there's going to be a lot of emailing, virtual meetings, discussions, and scheduling a team's short and long-term goals. The main criteria to start your career at Microsoft as a data scientist. Since you'll be working on meaningful and impactful projects, you need a willingness to learn from others. You also need to be open to new ideas as your team's work will make a difference. You'll operate in a highly collaborative environment with your team members located in various parts of the globe. The team expects you to support others to succeed. You will not be working in a cubicle. Hence, you need exceptionally good communication skills, as you will be engaging with peer stakeholders frequently. Your collaboration with them will produce clear, compelling, result-oriented insights that influence service and product improvements that will positively impact millions of customers. You need strong teamwork skills, as you will often engage in the peer review process. You will also act on feedback while learning advanced algorithms, innovative methods, and tools to increase the applicability and impact of your results. The interview rounds. The interview process at Microsoft varies quite a lot, depending on whether you are looking for full-time employment or an internship. Normally, Microsoft sticks to the three-round screening outlined below. One. 
30-minute phone interview with a hiring manager. Two, 45 to 50-minute video call with the team. Three, 45 to 60-minute final on-site interview or video interview. Common interview questions. Explain the functions of MapReduce briefly. How would you implement the autocomplete feature? Highlight some of the flaws in this tool. How would you explain power to a non-statistics person? What do false positive and false negative mean? Explain a project you have completed successfully. Explain how Gradient Boost works. Define variance. Describe the Support Vector Machine, or SVM. If you're interested in learning more about becoming a data scientist, then be sure to check out our courses at the first link in the description. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you to start your data science and AI career and more. Check out this playlist of our data science and machine learning lessons and see you in the next video. Take care.